Dear Gangaji, your presence and words have resonated for me this week, so I thank you for that. But I'm confused by what seems to be a fundamental contradiction in what you're saying. You say to give up the search, but you also advocate self-inquiry, which at least on the surface seems to me to be a kind of searching. Could you please clarify exactly what you mean by self-inquiry and searching, and how these two activities differ from each other? Very good question, Sean. Very good. It's really what I've been talking about the whole retreat, but it's so difficult to comprehend what staying conscious without mental activity means. We know what not having mental activity means. It means deep sleep or spacing out, but that's usually just a different kind of mental activity. But this is actually staying awake (laughs) in the equivalent of the deep sleep state. And so self-inquiry, I would say the primary difference is that searching is looking for something, reaching for something, trying to get something that will give you something. That was the question, you know, I asked you at the beginning, if you got that, what would that give you? Whereas self-inquiry is discovering what's already here. So it's a a fundamental difference. And if it's still activity, it's activity that's directed toward the source rather than the objects of that source. And this can get very subtle, of course, because we can make self-inquiry a search. We can do self-inquiry to get something, and then it becomes searching. But really the purity of self-inquiry is the willingness to stop the outward flow of thinking, which is the way thinking normally flows, because it's all about gathering stuff or information for survival and higher and higher levels of survival. But stopping that, overriding that very natural instinct, and actually shifting back toward inquiring in any, any number of ways, but the, for me the most relevant way is to simply tell the truth about what's here. What are you experiencing? Different from what are you thinking? Because what are you thinking is having something to do with getting something, <clears throat> even if that means keeping something away so that you get something. <clears throat> keeping away danger so you get peace, and so on. Does that make sense? 